Uh, my name is Danny Black, and I'm the president of the Southern Carolina Alliance. I would like to add my welcome to this commission, and we appreciate you being here and hope you find your visit very useful. I have been invited here today to represent the economic development entities in our region. These groups include the Development Authority of Richmond County and the Development Authority of Columbia County in Georgia, as well as the Aiken Edgefield Economic Development Partnership in South Carolina and my own organization, the Southern Carolina Alliance. First, I have some brief remarks about my own organization. The Southern Carolina Alliance represents four South Carolina counties around the Savannah River site. Allendale, Bamberg, Barnwell, and Hampton. Our relationship with SRS extends across the entire 60-year history of the Savannah River site. In fact, more than two-thirds of the 310 square miles on which the Savannah River site is situated lies in two of our counties, Allendale and Barnwell. This land was acquired by the government in the early 1950s. In the process, several communities and thousands of farm families were displaced under eminent domain to make way for construction of the site. Since the construction, thousands of residents in our four counties have been employed at the site. Employment peaked in 1995 when an estimated 4,000 residents of the four county Southern Carolina region were employed either on the site or by industries related to the site and its missions. While the people of Southern Carolina region have been dedicated employees and supporters of the site, the region has been challenged by the reduced tax base resulting from the acquisition of those thousands of acres 60 years ago. Unlike other parts of the broader region, our counties are currently experiencing some of the highest unemployment levels in South Carolina, indeed probably the entire nation. In Allendale and Barnwell County alone, unemployment is now approaching 20 percent, which is more than the figures this morning, twice the national average. Now speaking for all of my colleagues in the business of job creation in our region, I want to clearly state that we fully support the Savannah Riverside. We appreciate the contributions SRS has made to our region and our nation and we are confident that its best years lie ahead as SRS continues to meet critical national challenges. I agree with all the others here today who have stated that the federal government has shirked its responsibility by failing to provide a permanent repository for commercial spent fuel and high-level defense waste. Regardless of what waste management option is chosen, a repository will still be necessary and should be pursued without further delay. The absence of a permanent waste storage solution is a potential impediment to economic development as many worry that SRS will become a de facto permanent repository. We are concerned that this negative image will impact our ability to attract industry and create new jobs, creating a chilling effect on future economic development throughout the region. We do not worry about immediate safety concerns. The safety of short-term storage of high-level nuclear waste has been assured. However, additional studies are needed to confirm that the waste would remain safe for significant additional periods such as hundreds, even thousands of years required for permanent storage until radioactivity in the waste decays to safe levels. At the same time, we support full utilization of the Savannah River site's impressive capabilities in helping your commission and this country meet the current challenge. For more than half a century, the Savannah River site has possessed outstanding capabilities in spent fuel processing. In that time, SRS has assembled an unequal team of experts and has built an enviable record of performance and safety that exceeds any other facility in the DOE complex. Those same proven capabilities and that same unparalleled expertise can now be redirected to meeting national needs identified by your commission. We are confident SRS can play a major role in helping to close the fuel cycle, minimize the volume of waste, and put the country back on track with respect to ultimate disposal. All of the local knowledge and expertise does not reside on the Savannah River site. My own county, home county of Barnwell, was home to what was to become America's first reprocessing plant for commercial spent fuel. Known as the Allied General Nuclear Services Facility, this $300 million plant was completed in the 70s but never operated due to, to a change in U.S. policy prohibiting reprocessing. 500 anticipated permanent jobs never materialized. The fully completed facility was shuttered and stood dormant for decades until it was decommissioned and decontaminated and the land was dedicated to a new industrial site. We believe then and we believe now that the government's decision to abandon reprocessing was wrong-headed. It denied the country a valuable fuel resource, it created the bulk of the storage problems we face today, and it put the U.S. behind other countries in the expanded use of nuclear energy. 
We support reprocessing. However, supporting reprocessing does not mean we favor long-term centralized storage of spent fuel. This would violate one of our community's guiding principles. No waste or excess materials shall be brought into South Carolina unless an approved and funding pathway exists for its processing and shipment to either a customer or an out-of-state waste disposal facility.